And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a little game called Farm Mini. I mean, the fact that it's small is right there in the name. This is a little bit of a tile placement game where you're going to build your own farm in front of you, trying to get the most crops and the most animals. It is from Loki. This is a company that makes games that are definitely geared for children, 15 minutes long, and it is one to four players. Let's see how it plays. At the beginning of the game, each player will take a farm card and put it in front of them. There will be four cards. These are always the starting four cards face up, and then the rest are shuffled and placed face down. On your turn, you'll take a card, attach it to your farm through the fences, and then replace that card. If you take a card with an animal on it, you'll take that animal and put it in one of the open spots for animals. Sometimes the card might show two animals. Ooh, I could take that goat or I might try to enclose my pen. See, there's the, also, there are crops that are out there and you'll want to eventually close these crops in because enclosed crops at the end of the game are worth one point each. So you can see here that I'm going to be getting three points at the end of the game. Now, while you are doing all this, you have to be careful because if a wolf card is revealed from the top of the deck, the wolf card will scare away all animals of the type it shows that are not in a pen. So if you have animals in a pen, let's say I take this one and put it uh, here, hopefully I can get that one in a pen before the wolf shows up. There you go, now it's in a pen. And if you take this one, you're gonna get two pigs and just put them in different spots. You can play an advanced game where all animals in the same pen, you want them to be the same type, you'll get double points. But other than that, at the end of the game, which is when this deck runs out, each enclosed crop that's in a fence that's also not with an animal. So for example, if this had been this way and there was an animal here, the crops get nothing because the animal eats them all. You'll get one point for each otherwise. And then every animal, whether they're enclosed or not, gives you a point. Hopefully not having been scared away by the wolf. That's the game. The box here is really small. It has a nice little insert here. You know, look, oh, look at the, the art in the cards. The, the farm looks fine, although honestly, I don't know why they made these crops. Like, why didn't they show like a bigger crop field on it? They, the cards all the same artwork on them. The animals are cute, but the tokens are fine, but it's really, it's a very minuscule game here. Not a lot involved with it. So components are okay. Now I like the concept of Farm Mini, the idea of building a farm in front of you and taking animals and pens and the actuality of the wolf coming out and scaring away your animals is a good one. The concept's pretty simple, take one of four choices, build your farm. The idea of building something and putting things in front of you is definitely something that human beings find satisfying as evidenced by very popular games like Carcassonne. And that is the case with this one. Uh, as you build it, it, it has a fun thing of seeing your farm get built. That being said, the game doesn't work for a couple reasons and it's all centered around those animals. See, building an, an closed an area with crops gives you guaranteed points. Building a closed an area with animals is almost guaranteed points, except the wolf for those animals may show up and scare them away. Now, yes, you may have already seen the wolf, or the two wolves, I guess there's two for each animal, the two wolves for the pigs come. So you know it's safe to take pigs. But the fact is, the pigs may not be out there when it's your turn. In this game, you're constrained by the four choices, and if the double pig shows up, it's kind of crazy to not take it. So the double animals that are in the game are kind of lucky for the person who draws them. Just like there's a huge amount of luck as you take these animals and the wolf chases them away. So the problem is, if you're playing this with adults 
and trying to play a nice little filler style game, you'll find that it's, it's extremely safe to build big farms that have a lot of the growth, the, the uh, harvest inside them, the crops, and then take animals as you can get it, but not necessarily because they might be scared away but it doesn't feel satisfying. The game feels too light and it's just not there. It's just not for adults. So let's take it to kids. And I played it with kids. The problem is kids, as every human being on earth, will probably like the cute animals more. But taking the animals is restrained or the joy of that is taken away when the wolf chases them away. And I found that this game has the high possibility of having the kid leave the table in tears for scoring almost no points. If there were lots of animals and they were showing up all the time and the wolf would scare them away every once in a while, but there are 12 animal cards in the deck. I think there's uh, four of each type of animal, one double and three singles. There are two cards for each one. There are six wolf cards. There is half as many scare cards as there are animal cards. And it's just depressing for kids to take these animals and have them scared away. So then they build these boring farms, and let's be honest, the farm with crops, the way they look here and feel is boring. So for kids, this is almost a joyless little game. Yes, it feels good if it works out, but if it doesn't, I would rather play a game where, yes, there's a possibility of danger. Kids like that, ooh, yeah, the wolf chased your pigs away, if you still have something. But I played a game of this where the kid had every single animal scared away over the course of the game. Did they have fun? No. I wouldn't recommend it for kids, but I'm not recommending it for adults either. And ultimately, no one. This is a game that's trying to find some sort of audience. And I think it could have been done better. As it is, it just feels like a pale imitation of other better tile laying games. That's Farm Mini. I'm Tom Vassell. We'll see you next time. Dice Tower Judgment doesn't find its audience.